In reality, variance must definitely have influence on standard costing because of the changing nature of our world. And when that happens, we said that we want to embark on analyzing the variances, which we tag variance analysis. So we are going to be going in depth into the standard costing and variance analysis. I know you are already expecting that we begin to calculate, but the truth of the matter is knowledge and understanding of the theoretical aspect of it is profitable for understanding how the calculation actually goes. So we will actually give ourselves understanding of basic elements about standard costing variance analysis while we have variance analysis the element of standard materials standard labor standard overhead and how what they, the role they play in having and affecting variation and variance to be analyzed so performance management we are going to be dealing with now so standard costing is a performance management topic of course some of us will have it under costing as a topic too depending on the level of the cost that you have as we speak so we are going to be dealing with everything about standard costing now going into our dashboard what we are going to be breaking it down in so we are going to be looking at the uses of standard costing in this video we are going to be looking at uses we are going to be looking at variance we are going to be looking at variance analysis we are going to be looking at types of standard and we are going to be looking at how to derive how to derive standard usage efficiency rates and how to derive price for material how to okay so we are going to pick it one after the other and elaborate on them now so when we are talking about uses now of standard costing, it is important for us to know that standard costing is a tool for planning. It's a tool for planning and we need to talk about budget. Don't forget that was why we were we started from planning if you've been following us on GGM Associate channel we've spoken about the traditional budgeting we've talked about the beyond budgeting model because all these are preparing us for the standard costing that we had promised us that we are going to be dealing with variance analysis so now is the time so standard costing is a tool for us to plan and when we are talking about planning, we cannot talk, we cannot but talk about budgeting. And we know what budgets are, types of budgets, and even going beyond the traditional budgeting into beyond budgeting, which we had dealt with. You can look at it, the beyond budget and the like the videos. Having said that, standard costing is a tool for planning. Also, is a control mechanism we can use it as a control mechanism and when we are talking about the control aspect of standard costing we will be talking about comparison comparing the standard that we've set about the material about the usage about the labor about the overhead against the extra that at the end of the day after the production and the production line activities these actually were our 
experience so that means this uh, control reporting tool also so it's a, it's a tool for control report or control reporting also another use of standard costing is that is a performance measurement tool it's a performance performance measurement tool and when we are talking of it that is a performance measurement tool it it resonates in the sense that everything about standard costing deals with the performance of our activity as an organization as a people even as individual so performance management is important to standard costing and when we want to know how we perform we must use the tool of standard costing and variance analysis especially so with these three let's move on to variance before we talk about variance analysis variance occurs because of the changing condition of our business world what we plan for let's say for example standard material that we believe that okay we will need this material maybe the quantity when we are talking about standard material we must talk about the quantity and the price if any of these elements in standard material has changed definitely it will result into variance so variance simply puts uh, the differences between what we budgeted so the difference between the plant the plant and actual our actual experience is what we call variance then we cannot just leave variation like that we have to analyze it to know the root cause and all these are the intricacies of the standard costing that make makes it actually complicated and that's why we are starting with this theoretical so that we will understand by the time we begin to compute and it's as if we are we we are going into some languages that we may not understand and scribbling it down no is because of this intricacy so the theoretical knowledge of variance analysis is important to doing good and doing well and scoring higher in standard cost and variance analysis as a topic in our examination so now we've said that variance are the planned against our actual experience now that leads us to what variance analysis is basically variance analysis is the activity that we plan towards understanding the variables why they occur variable the behavior of variables why those things actually change and it equally helps us to know more about how to deal with it in the nearest future don't forget part of the uses of variance analysis is for control reporting it's a tool for planning and also as a performance measurement tool okay so that is variance analysis do you want me to write anything down about variance analysis okay so we can simply define variance analysis as a planned planned activity or activities geared towards towards understanding why we have very variables why we have variables go back I, I told you I told you you cannot go back from this step go back
So it sim so it simply helps us to answer the question why we have differentials between what we plan for and what we actually have at the end of the day. So having said that, let us go to types of standards types of standards basically we are going to talk about four we are going to talk about the ideal standard and when we are talking about ideal standard before i moved to types of standard let me quickly deal with variance and variance analysis what i forgot to mention it is very important which can come as a question that who should hone variance reporting and variance analysis the manager should hone the variance and variance analysis and also ever deals with the analysis of variances must report to the manager for example the production manager this is very important for us to implement and work towards, towards better changes and better experience in our production line and delivery. So, report to manager is very important that we report to the person that has the responsibility of implementing and who is answerable, answerable to why we have those changes that we have, the variables that we have as against what we plan for and also when we are talking about variance when we're talking about the budget we're talking about comparison of our experience in form of control we must talk about the fixed budget we must talk about flexed or flexible budgeting F fixed budget simply put is is fixed is fixed is the standard so we can say fixed budget is our standard budget then our flexible budget is what we actually experience and after flexible budget comes after the fixed budget and so that the flexible budget can can take into cognizance the flexibility and the changes in the experience between the time we got get budgeted which will be for uh, a bit of a long period past as against flexible that is a bit current budget so basically those are the things i would like to equally add under variance and variance analysis so now types of standard ideal standard ideal standard actually is like looking for the perfect in an imperfect world when we are when we budget or planned ahead of time believing that these are the things we expected to actually work this planning is put down on an ideal based on an ideal situation that let's say for example there will be 24 7 light that prices that will not be strike and uh, there will not be hike in prices of commodity that everything will work well as planned so it is based on an ideal world that a manager will not fall sick <laughs> that there will not be an idle time that there will not be power outage that mechanism the machineries will not break down so that is an ideal standard and because it is set on a perfect world on a perfect situation majority of the time ideal standard 
is unattainable unachievable and sometimes we can say it's an unrealistic standard maybe <laughs> the person just expects the good for the world everything to be good but nevertheless it's a standard that we have as a standard costing type maybe all things being equal ideal could be achievable one day so that is the first type of standard that we are looking at then the second one that we are going to be looking at is what we can tag as attainable attainable budget when we are talking about attainable budget we are talking about uh, budget that is actually attained able that is it's as factored in other aspects of our world that people in the production line in the production department may fall sick energy may not be available there may be hike in prices of whether material labor or even standard overhead and we may have some differentials simply put so attainable standard are actually attainable because it has factored in the this the peculiarity of our business world in which we find ourselves so the first one is so ideal is out of this world the second one is attainable taking into consideration the flexibility involved in the operations of business in this uh, world in any country any kindred anyway something generally we we go wrong not totally out of control but may not work the way we expect take for example many regions of the world lights is not that constant and if we plan based on that we know definitely we are going to have variables when we are experience outages it's going to affect our overhead so attainable standard has taken cognizance of those then we'll talk about the next one which will be the basic the basic standard and when we are talking about the big basic standard it looks and factor in long period of time basic standard so it looks at long period of time and ensure that what we and uh, what we are budgeting for are uh, achievable so it focuses on long period of time in an attainable way and is a standard that is fixed ahead of us ahead of time and that we are working towards and the last but not the least that we are going to mention will be the current standard the current standard when we are talking about the current standard, we are talking about a standard that is here now for us to work towards. So it's at, it has taken into consideration everything that we may likely, most likely will be experiencing and is very achievable, is very current and we are working in the here and now so it's, it's a standard that focuses on the current circumstance current working condition and what the entity is capable actually of achieving at the moment so the current standards do not provide any incentive to 
making uh, any significant improvement in performance because it's it understands what we are experiencing now and might be considered unsatisfactory actually when uh, current operating performance is considered inefficient so in a situation in which we find our performance to be inefficient then current standard may not be <laughs> of help to us maybe we need to look towards a uh, attainable standard or ideal standard to for a solution but that is the current standard or even basic standard for help but current standard actually is set based on the current working condition why basic standards are for long term and they are fixed so variances on basic standard actually are calculated by comparing the actual results with the basic the standard that we can and if there are any gradual improvements in performance over time well and this will be apparent in an improving trend in our reporting or the variance so let us move on and quickly talk which is examinable talk about how we can derive usage of our material that is setting the standard about our usage so material usage how to derive material usage how to derive our efficiency rates efficiency rates and last but not the least we are going to talk about how to drive our price for material price for material so after now we are going to go into the real calculation of everything that we discussed so for us to have an understanding and a standard set for usage of our material we need to look back historically about our production line about what we've done right about what we've not been doing right and set the standard so historical record for our material usage in the past is very important and also some specific design of our products so now this is product specific so the material for our our production is specific production we we need to know that production very well in from the design stage for us to be able to de derive the standard usage of material that we need so now how can we derive standard efficiency rates especially for our labor now we need to look at historical record like we said said for the material but apart from that now we need to make comparison with similar works and the time required to do those similar works for us to be able to establish standard efficiency rates and also the time and the motion study we need to study the time we need to study the motion involved that we've experienced before for us to be able to arrive at standard efficiency rates for our labor all this one now will be in calculation but you would not know all this theoretical when we are putting down all those things it will be as if we are just scribbling down uh, some uh, figures some words that we may not really understand and that is the purpose of this video let's talk about standard price for material how are we going to be able to set those standard historical record is equally important and also allowing for estimated changes in the future we must allow for estimated changes in the future so such as the inflation which almost every part of the world we are experiencing now in nigeria in uk <laughs> the uk is more or less unprecedented now and like the us too so every part of the world inflations are on the on the increase and it's going to it's going to affect our standard price for material so we need to look and allow 
for future changes in our standard setting and any expected changes in the trade discount that could be available to us. So in a quick recap of events, we had spoken about standard costing in which we learned about the usage, about variance, about variance analysis, about types of variance analysis and standard costing we said that could be used as a tool for performance measurements of course we are studying performance management now could be used as a tool for control and control reporting that is comparing the budgeted or the standard against the actual and also it's a tool for planning and we'll talk about how to budget, types of budgets and the like which we had dealt with in previous videos. Then we talk about variance and we say variance are our experience based on what we have now, what we experience. So variance are planned and against the actual. Then, because our planned and our actual experience actually are different, we need to talk about variance analysis because if we leave it untouched, then we are not actually learning from what we've experienced, why the change, and how could we work towards better experience in the nearest future as per the change that we have now. So. That is the essence of variance analysis. So it's our planned activity geared towards understanding why we have the variables that we are currently experiencing in our, video, in our production line. We also spoke about types of standard. We talked about ideal, attainable, basic standard, and current standard. The ideal looks at this world from a perfectionist point of view and sets the standard in which it considers everything to be going well, that people will not fall sick, that there will not be power outage, there will not be breakdown of mass machinery, there will be everything perfect in one world. Then attainable are those ones that consider the unforeseen in our world, the one we can control and the one we cannot control in setting the standard. Basic standard, they are set for the long haul and they, they are fixed, they are standard. And the current standard, which is the last type of standard, are the one that actually considered everything as at now, consider everything that we may explain what the market is saying, what the labor market is saying, what the material market is saying, the efficiency we had experienced in planning for the current production line. Now we talk about how to derive our standard material, how to derive our efficiency rate, and how to derive our price for material. So all these have been dealt with and for those of us that are just joining us from GGN Sponsorship Channel, when the Latin FCA has been speaking and we pride ourselves that we have value to life, value to your businesses, value to your career. If you've received value in the past almost 30 minutes now, why won't you subscribe? We would love you subscribe to us, be part of the community so that we can have the community reach out to better many people that are outside there that needs to hear and take advantage of the good work that we are doing so subscribe and click notification click all and comment if need be as we go into the competition of variance analysis and don't forget to share to others that you know around you that we need this tutorial from Jijin Sales Sheet. We are value to life. 
we are valuable to your businesses.